An extraordinary 1,700-year-old Roman egg stuns archaeologists with its perfect preservation. In an astounding archaeological discovery, a 1,700-year-old egg was found fully intact during extensive excavations between 2007 to 2016 in Aylesbury, Buckinghamshire, ahead of a major housing development project. This ancient egg is the only complete specimen dating back to Roman Britain, and is now considered globally singular. As recent micro-CT scans revealed, it remarkably still contains liquid yolk and egg white inside after over 17 centuries. The pristinely preserved oval was uncovered among shattered shell fragments in a waterlogged pit, which unleashed a powerful rotten smell when the other eggs cracked open during meticulous extraction by archaeologists. The airless conditions of the pit allowed organic materials like leather, wood, and wicker to remain undisturbed since the Roman era. This rare organic evidence provided unparalleled insights into daily life at the previously vibrant Roman settlement of Fleet Marston nearby, once a vital center for trade, administration, and agriculture in Roman Britain. Fleet Marston's remains span the 1st to 4th century AD, when it was mysteriously abandoned and lost over time. Numerous artifacts like Samian ware pottery, coins, jewelry, and metal implements were brought to light, painting a rich picture of the bustling settlement that was previously only known from scattered finds. The dig was led by Oxford Archaeology, which has been excavating the site for over nine years, uncovering remains from a Mid-Iron Age settlement to Fleet Marston's agricultural lands. This important archaeological work was financed by the Berryfields Consortium Construction Company developing the area. Over the years, the ancient site has yielded remarkable artifacts providing glimpses into the past. Researchers believe the pit likely served as an ancient version of a wishing well, where locals would toss valued items like eggs as offerings for good fortune from the gods. Eggs held potent symbolic meaning in Roman society associated with fertility, prosperity, and rebirth. The egg may have been a ritual gift to appeal to Mercury, god of commerce and travel, or Mithras, a deity of Persian origin popular with Roman soldiers. Further analysis through protein sequencing aims to uncover the egg's origins and identify the species of bird that laid this miraculously enduring egg over 17 centuries ago. According to Douglas Russell, senior curator at London's Natural History Museum, this is the oldest known unintentionally preserved avian egg ever found, making it priceless both archaeologically and scientifically. After years spent meticulously examining the artifacts from the excavation, researchers were awestruck that this fragile ancient egg retained its liquid contents intact throughout the centuries, defying all expectations. This genuinely unique discovery provides an unprecedented glimpse into the distant past and highlights the immense historical significance of the Aylesbury archaeological site. The 1,700-year-old Roman egg find stands as a testament to the ingenious preservation methods and rich ritual practices of ancient Britain. High-tech analysis, revealing the egg's secrets. Since its initial discovery, this extraordinary historical artifact has undergone high-tech analysis to unravel its composition and origins without damaging the fragile contents inside. Using advanced imaging technology, researchers have captured incredible insights into the egg's interior and revealed surprising findings about its possible identity. Initial micro-CT scans at the University of Kent created stunning 3D visualizations of the intact yolk and albumen floating within the 1,700-year-old shell. Further, SEM, scanning electron microscopy scans at the Natural History Museum, identified the smooth shell texture and thin membrane characteristic of a chicken egg. The Remarkable Historical Context of the Egg Discovery To fully appreciate the significance of this extraordinary egg, it's important to understand the historical context of the surrounding region and what was happening in Roman Britain at the time. During the Roman occupation of Britain from 43, 410 AD, the landscape went through monumental changes, including urbanization, road infrastructure, and industrialization. The ancient town of Fleet Marston, where the egg was uncovered, arose along Ackerman Street, a major Roman road running from London to Cirencester. Numerous settlements flourished along these imperial roads, 
benefiting from increased trade and transport links across Britannia. The Roman era transformed Britain into one of the most developed outposts of the vast empire. Around 240 AD, when the egg is believed to have been deposited, the Roman Empire was plunged into chaos and civil war amidst growing invasions on its borders. Emperor Gordian III was campaigning against the aggressive Persian Sassanid Empire in the east. Meanwhile, closer to Britain, parts of Gaul were lost, and the Rhine frontier collapsed under barbarian invasions. Against this backdrop of instability, Roman Britain was isolated from much of the empire and under increasing threat itself from northern raiders beyond Hadrian's Wall. The rituals and offerings evidenced at Fleet Marston suggest fearful locals trying to appeal to the gods for protection and fortune in uncertain times. The egg may have been an offering just before Fleet Marston was abandoned to an uncertain fate. Significance of eggs in Roman culture and religion. To understand why this egg was considered a worthy offering to the gods, it's important to examine the great significance eggs held in Roman culture and beliefs. As an ancient symbol of birth and rebirth, eggs were associated with fertility, prosperity, and the cycle of life and death. Chicken eggs in particular took on rich meaning. Romans imported chickens from Egypt and believed hatching eggs embodied the divine creative force that could restore life to the deceased. Eggs and springtime festivals went hand in hand as celebrations of renewal like the Perilia festival where Romans decorated homes with eggs. Eggs also featured in marriage ceremonies as symbols of new beginnings. Brides would ritually rub an egg over their bodies in cleansing ceremonies before their weddings. In banquets, decorated ostrich eggs displayed the host's wealth and status. Eggs and egg imagery frequently appeared in temples, shrines, tombs and mosaics across Roman territories as offerings and omens. The Orphic egg was an important facet of the cult of Orpheus and a representation of the seed from which all things were believed to have hatched. The sun and moon were compared to eggs in some Roman philosophies. Apuleius, a second century Roman writer, described Isis as the self-generating mother who gave birth to all things and brought forth the egg that contained the universe. Eggs were thus imbued with immense regenerative and cosmic symbolism in Roman culture making them worthy offerings for gods who controlled fertility, prosperity, life, and death. The Aylesbury egg may have been a powerful ritual gift to curry favor from the gods in turbulent times when the very future was uncertain. Gods who may have received the egg, offering two prime candidates for the Roman deities, who may have been the recipients of the egg offering, are Mercury and Mithras, gods associated with commerce, fraternity, and the cycle of life. Mercury was one of the Dii Consentes, the council of major Roman gods. As god of financial gain, commerce, travel and fertility, he was viewed as a patron of merchants and traders. His name derives from the Latin merx, meaning merchandise. Given Fleet Marston's role as an economic center, Mercury would have been an important deity for locals to appeal to. The egg may also have been an offering to Mithras, a Persian god popular amongst Roman soldiers. Mithras was a solar deity linked to oaths, contracts, and fraternal pacts. Male initiates into his secretive cult reportedly wore crowns of eggs as symbols of rebirth. His annual birth from a rock was celebrated just after the winter solstice. Both Mercury and Mithras were gods associated with transitions and new beginnings, and perfectly aligned with the egg symbolism. As Fleet Marston's people faced an uncertain future, they may have offered an egg to petition these gods for protection and prosperity in difficult times. The Astonishing Preservation of the Egg Over 1,700 years What has stunned archaeologists and scientists is not just the discovery of this rare artifact, but the unprecedented state of its preservation over one, seven centuries in the waterlogged pit. The anoxic, oxygen-free environment created optimal conditions for organic materials to endure remarkably intact. While over 90% of Roman era sites yield only durable remains like stone, metal, and ceramic, the Fleet Marston Pit housed an exceptional collection of leather, wood, textile, and other organic finds. However, no one expected an egg from Roman Britain to still contain liquid contents inside. Over time, eggs typically degrade and leach out fluids through their porous calcium carbonate shell. While the egg's thin shell remarkably never cracked, its contents should have evaporated long ago. 
but various factors enabled this egg to defy the odds. The cool underground temperatures, high mineral content, and alkaline pH of the soil partially pickled and crystallized the egg contents. The thin inner membrane may have also slowed fluid loss. Additionally, soil chemistry transformations may have deposited minerals sealing the shell pores. The egg was then swiftly excavated and properly stored to prevent degradation. Through sheer luck of its burial conditions, this fragile biological specimen endured in an astonishing state of suspended animation for over 17 centuries. Perfectly preserved with content still sloshing inside, it is rewriting the archaeological textbook on just how resilient buried organic materials can potentially be under ideal circumstances and how much we can still learn about the distant past from such rare time capsules.